Last week, NFL Week 1, I came out with a 12-4 and record. Well, technically, 12-3-1 and because there was that tie. But I'm counting that as getting the game wrong because I didn't predict a tie. So, I went 12-4 and, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with that record. I thought I did a good job last week. Especially when you consider how bad I did in 2018. I'm off to a very good start. The only games I got wrong was the Houston and New Orleans game. That was really, really close. I got the Raiders and Broncos game wrong. And, I mean, come on, let's be real here. None of us expected the Raiders to come out and actually look half decent. And then the game where the Cardinals and Lions tied, I didn't get that one right. And then I also didn't get the Vikings and Falcons one right either. So, those are the four I got wrong. And, you know, I just felt like I did a good job last week. Hopefully this week I'm able to do just as well, if not better. Hopefully better. But let's start off with this Thursday night football game, Buccaneers at Panthers. I said this last week in my week one recap video. If Bruce Arians can't fix Jameis Winston, then no one can. The Panthers, they had a close game with the Rams who were the NFC runner-ups. Yes, I know the Rams won to the Super Bowl, but the Saints should have won that game. So, in my opinion, the Rams were the NFC runner-ups. But the Panthers, they almost won that game. They were just like three points away from being tied. It was a close game. The Panthers, in my opinion, like they're just on a whole other level compared to the Buccaneers. From what I saw from the Buccaneers against the Niners, and the Niners aren't a good team by any means. From what I saw from the Buccaneers... This Buccaneers team is going to be picking the top five this upcoming draft from what it looks like. So I'm taking the Carolina Panthers in this one. I feel like the Panthers will win this one pretty easily. Cardinals at Ravens. I'm taking the Ravens in this one. Last week, the Ravens completely embarrassed the Miami Dolphins and the Cardinals tied with the Lions. In my opinion, the Arizona Cardinals... They're around the same level as the Dolphins. I mean, yeah, Kyler Murray looked good there in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter in overtime. But I don't think this Cardinals team is that good. I don't think they can compete with this Ravens team. So I think the Ravens will win this one pretty easily. Cowboys at Redskins. The Redskins last week... They blew it versus the Eagles. The Cowboys just completely embarrassed the Giants last week. And I think the Cowboys are pretty much going to do the same thing this week. I think they're going to embarrass the Redskins. I really don't think the Redskins stand much of a chance against the Cowboys. Now, this next game, it's a pretty interesting one. The Colts last week, I had them getting completely embarrassed by the Chargers. That didn't happen. The Colts actually ended up taking the Chargers to overtime. The Chargers still won that game, but still, I thought the Colts hung in there. I thought they did a good job. And the Titans, they pretty much did what I predicted them to do. They went into Cleveland and just punched the Browns right in the mouth and hopefully humbled them now the kind of football that the titans play is similar to that of the ryan fitzpatrick brian hoyer brock osweiler era texans and that is minimize mistakes on offense and hope the defense is able to capitalize on mistakes from the opposing team the colts with jacoby Brissett. They like to play it safe from what it looks like. Just run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, and only really throw when you have to. Jacoby Brissett doesn't like to go deep. So, I don't think the Colts will make many mistakes versus the Titans team. 
In fact, I think this Colts team can actually beat this Titans team. I still have the Titans winning this game, but I feel like this game will be a very good one, a very close one, but ultimately, it comes down to the quarterback. Who do I trust more? Marcus Mariota or Jacoby Brissett? They're both not good options in my opinion, but I would definitely choose Marcus Mariota over Jacoby Brissett. I don't think the Titans will really be able to stop the Colts run game. I mean, that offensive line is downright dominant. Marlon Mack last week, he ran crazy all over the Chargers. And I just don't think the Titans will be able to stop the Colts running game. But at the end of the day, I don't think the Colts will be able to stop the Titans offense either. So I think the Titans take this one in a very close game. Seahawks at Steelers. Last week, the Steelers looked like a complete mess versus the Patriots. The Seahawks also didn't look too good versus the Bengals. The Steelers are at home, but I don't think that matters, honestly. Last week, they just weren't able to get an offense going whatsoever. They actually looked like they're missing Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. I think the Seahawks team goes into Pittsburgh and gets a win and they advance to 2-0 while the Steelers fall to a very disappointing 0-2. Bills at Giants. Last week I predicted the Bills to win because of their defense and this week I think the Bills win again because of that defense. I do not like Josh Allen. I think Josh Allen's a terrible quarterback. But man, do I love that Bills defense. And I don't think this Giants team is going to be able to put up many points on the Bills. I see this being like a 17-10 to game. I think the Bills defense just suffocates Eli Manning. And it's going to make the Giants kind of question, hey, should maybe we should go with Daniel Jones instead? But you know, the Giants are stubborn, so they'll probably stick with Eli Manning. Next game, Niners at Bengals. Despite getting the win last week, I didn't really think the Niners looked too good. I don't think the Niners are that good of a team. Jimmy Garoppolo struggled offensively. They're not that good defensively. They made Jameis Winston look like Jameis Winston, but again, that's Jameis Winston. And the Bengals, on the other hand, they almost beat... The Seahawks, who in my opinion are a legitimate Super Bowl contender. So in this game, I'm going to go ahead and take the Bengals. I think the Bengals are probably a better team than we all imagined them to be. Because in my opinion, I had the Bengals going like 4-12. and I had the Seahawks completely destroying the Bengals. But that didn't happen. I think... I kind of underestimated the Bengals. So I got the Bengals winning this one. Chargers at Lions. The Lions could have had a win last week, but they let it slip away and instead came away with a tie. The Chargers also went to overtime, but instead they actually came out with a win. And I actually think the Chargers are going to win this game pretty easily I don't think the Lions can actually keep up with this Chargers team the Lions I, I don't know man Matt Patricia in my opinion he just isn't it Vikings at Packers last week the Vikings just ran 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 in fact they ran so much Kirk Cousins only threw like 10 passes I don't think this whole run, 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 run thing is going to work against the Packers. The Packers defense last week against the Bears actually looked pretty decent. But of course, you have to consider they were playing Mitchell Trubisky, arguably the worst quarterback in the NFL. Well, starting quarterback in the NFL. You could argue Josh Adams as well, but you know he's terrible. But Kirk Cousins, in my opinion, 
he isn't all that better than Mitchell Trubisky. I mean, I'm not saying Kirk Cousins is one of the worst, but he's below average to average in my opinion. I don't think Kirk Cousins can outduel Aaron Rodgers. And even though Aaron Rodgers looked not so great against the Bears, that's the Bears defense, man. The Bears defense is probably the best in the NFL, and even though the Vikings have a good defense of their own, I don't think it's on par with the Bears defense. Jaguars at Texans. I'm taking the Texans in this one. If you guys saw my Jaguars versus Texans video, you guys know that I'm taking the Texans. I actually have the Texans winning this one pretty easily. Patriots at Dolphins. I'm taking the Patriots. I know, I know. The Patriots struggle in Miami, blah, blah, blah. But trust me, there is no way that the Patriots lose to this Dolphins team. This Dolphins team is a special kind of bad. They're so bad that their players want out of Miami. A bunch of them. That's the rumor. I don't know if it's true, but that is a rumor. All these Dolphins players want out of Miami. I don't blame them. The Dolphins are terrible. So the Patriots are going to win this one pretty easily. Chiefs at Raiders. Even without Tyreek Hill, I think the Chiefs win this one. Last year that these two teams played, obviously they're in the same division. The score to both games was actually pretty close. So I think this game will be closer than what most expect, but I still see the Chiefs coming out on top in this one, even without Tyreek Hill. Saints at Rams, I am taking the Saints. I think the Saints get revenge on the Rams. I think they're a better team. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the Saints went in there all pissed off and completely embarrassed the Rams. I'm rooting for the Saints in this one. Hopefully the Saints go in there and get their revenge. Bears at Broncos. I'm taking the Bears. The Bears defense is going to carry the Bears to a win. Mitchell Trubisky, like I said, I don't think he's very good. I think he's terrible. But this Bears defense should carry the Bears to a win here. Eagles at Falcons. The Falcons didn't look too good last week, man. They really disappointed me. The Eagles almost disappointed me, but they ended up coming back and winning. I think the Eagles offense will be way too much for the Falcons defense, and I don't think Matt Ryan can keep up with the Eagles, so I am taking the Eagles in this one. Browns at Jets. This is an interesting one. Baker Mayfield versus Sam Darnold in primetime. Can't wait to watch this one, honestly. I'm taking the Browns, though. I think the Browns they were humbled last week by the Titans, and I feel like they'll rebound this week and take it out on the Jets. Now, that's pretty much it for my predictions. Comment down below your own predictions. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.